daughters, if you will join me in the American creed, I believe in the United States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the past, whose just powers are derived from the consent of the government. A democracy in a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon those principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity, for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. Julie Dyke is uh, the registrar of the Nathaniel Massey chapter. She does an excellent, excellent job of researching our patriots and uh, finding lots of information about them. And because of her work today in collaboration with Beverly Gray, we, we know a lot about Henry Hill. Um, like Teresa said, um, Beverly Gray has done such a fabulous job, fabulous job researching um, the African American history in, in Chillicothe. And when this project came, came about, um, I had never met Beverly before. And Teresa introduced her to me, and she welcomed us in her home. Uh, since that day, she's been mentoring me. Uh, anytime I have a question, I call her, and she's there. So I just want to thank Beverly. Henry Hill, a man of color, served in the American Revolution in the 2nd Virginia Regiment, a musketry unit, which originated in Orange County, Virginia in 1778 and again in 1780, fighting in the battles of Monmouth, Guilford Courthouse, the Siege of 96, and Utah Springs, being honorably discharged after both service eras with the final end of service on January 18, 1782. An article in the abolitionist newspaper, Genus of Universal Freedom, cites his death and stated he received the honors of the war, a singular tribute of respect to the life of a colored man. Hill was born in Virginia around 1753 and moved to Ross County before 1803. On December 18, 1803, he married Eve Nickens. Prior to coming to Chillicothe, Henry lived near Richmond, Virginia with his first wife, whom it is believed died before she moved, before they moved to Ohio. Hill applied for his military pension in Franklin County, where he at one time owned property on May 18, 1818. The Hill family resided in a log house on the southeast corner of Water and Hickory Street in Chillicothe. They were members of the first anti-slavery Baptist church of Chillicothe, now the first Baptist church. Henry taught the tanning trade to his son, Dennis, who is recorded as one of the leading tanners and couriers in Chillicothe in the 1820s. He and his brother set up a floating tannery, which they operated on the Scioto River between Piketon and Chillicothe. Henry Hill was the father of Dennis, James B., Samuel, Thomas, Henry Nelson, Rebecca, Catherine, Jane, and William. James was one of the first persons to provide education for people of color in Chillicothe by teaching in a class in the gallery of the Presbyterian Church in 1817. Henry Hill passed away in Ross County on September 12, 1833, at the age of 80, and his burial place is unknown. Thank you, Julie, and thank you, Bev, for all that you do in researching and preserving the history of our county. In remembering the past, we honor the men and the women who gave their lives for the preservation of our freedoms and our future. Please join with me as we pray. Father, we thank you for the life of this Revolutionary War patriot, Henry Hill, whose service to country and heroic sacrifices aided and advanced the cause of independence. Help us recognize 
that fidelity and integrity must guard always the heritage bequeathed by those who had everything to lose. Amen. Amen. Please help us to be worthy of our noble dead. Our forefathers put their faith in the Lord, and he has delivered them to this land of plenty. History tells us that what is needed today is not just a show of greatness and a parade of power, but a dedication to great ideals and high endeavor. Therefore, we the members of the Nathaniel Massey chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution now dedicate this marker in grateful recognition of the service of Henry Hill, a patriot of the American Revolution. In honoring Henry Hill, we also pay tribute to all of the men and women who have served our country with integrity and devotion. We dedicate ourselves anew to a faithful stewardship of the blessings that we enjoy today. Please join me in prayer. Now may grace, mercy, and love abide with us all. Now and evermore. Amen.